In this video, the serial port of the Arduino is programmed using assembly to display on the serial monitor 10-bit digitized values of the built-in ATD converter. In my previous video, I programmed the serial port to display text messages on the serial monitor. Now we want to display the 10-bit value of the built-in ATD converter of the ATmega328 microcontroller. The 10-bit digitized value from the analog to digital converter is copied onto register pair ADC low and ADC high in a write justified manner. To represent this 10-bit binary number in hexadecimal, we need to use three hexi digits. These two bits will represent the most significant digit of the hexadecimal number, while these four bits here will represent the mid-digit, and these four bits will represent the least significant digit. Next, we want to convert each hexi digit into an ASCII value to represent the characters from 0 to 9 and from A to F, so that we can display it on the serial monitor as a three-digit hexadecimal number representing the 10-bit digitized value. For details, please watch my previous video on programming the analog to digital converter. A quick look at the programs used in this project. Within the INO file, we have the C code, which uses three external functions. Within the setup file, this function will initialize the analog to digital converter. This function will initialize the serial port, and within the loop function, this function will display the 10-bit uh, ADC value on the serial monitor. Inside the S file, we have the assembly code. This subroutine initializes the analog to digital converter. This subroutine initializes the serial port. Inside subroutine, print ADC. The low byte uh, value of the result in ADCL is stored in register 16, while the high byte in ADCH is stored in register 25. Now the most significant digit stored in register R25 needs to be converted to an ASCII number to represent the characters from 0 to 9, and we can do this by adding 48 to the value. Once we have the ASCII value, we check the status of the data buffer for the serial port. When it is ready to receive data, we can send, we can then print the most significant digit of the ADC on the serial monitor. Next, we display the ASCII value of the mid digit on the serial monitor. Then we display the ASCII value of the least significant digit. For details on how the ASCII values are obtained for these digits, please watch my previous video. To start on a new line on the serial monitor, we need to send the ASCII value of the new line character. Then we send the ASCII value of the carriage return. Then we apply a delay of uh, one second. And then we go back to the loop function and the process is uh, repeated. And now for a quick demonstration. The 10-bit ADC value is increased and then decreased using a 10K pot. In a future video, I'll interface a 16-key keyboard and write an assembly program to accept key presses and display it on the serial monitor.